Welcome back to the channel everybody. I'm in beautiful Sudbury, Ontario where the nickels are big, the people are friendly and the snowmobile trails are epic. We're going to spend a week up here riding all the different trails and try to outline for you exactly how good Sudbury really is for snowmobile riding. So sit back, grab yourself something warm to drink and enjoy Dino's Tinker Shed. I bet that one goes a few more pennies than a normal nickel. You know, I snowmobile all over Ontario, and I have to say again, Sudbury, Ontario is one of my favorite places to snowmobile, and it has been for probably a decade since the first time I actually went there. Now, there's a few reasons why myself and my son-in-law really like Sudbury. The people are super friendly. It has all kinds of trails you can ride. You can spend probably 10 days there and never ride the same trails the same way twice. There's fuel and there's great food all along the trail network. And the Sudbury Trail Plan does a great job of grooming and keeping those trails in tip top shape. Now, we went up this year during the family day long weekend and uh, we had just an absolute blast. We stayed in a Zilda, which is where we often stay. I've never stayed anywhere else actually in Sudbury. We always stay at the Zilda Motor Inn, which is right on the D trail. So you can actually leave the parking lot and get right onto the trail and ride to, to your destinations. And speaking of parking, there's plenty of parking in, in the uh, motor in there. They've got lots of room for trailers. The rooms are super clean and the people that stay there tend to be pretty quiet. We've never actually been in there with a rowdy bunch of people keeping you up to all hours of the night. There's fuel just down the street about I'm gonna say 400 yards or 400 meters so and there's a Tim Hortons right there too so you can actually uh, get up get a Timmy's coffee get on your sled ride fuel up for the day and then there are multiple loops that you can ride right from the hotel there's uh, the moose loop the wolf loop the deer loop the elk loop that the Sudbury Trail Plan puts together. These snow tours are fantastic. They range from about 250 kilometers up to about three to 400 kilometers, I think the elk loop is, if you do the entire loop. Um, we even rode over to Manitoulin Island from Killarney this year, which is the first time we've ever been able to do that. So we actually rode across Georgian Bay about 35 miles across the ice to get to Manitoulin Island and then back across another 27 kilometers, I think it was. Uh, to get back to Little Current, so it was pretty exciting. So why don't I show you some of the highlights of our trip and show you why we really, really do like riding in Sudbury, Ontario. Once we arrived in Azilda, we quickly parked the trucks and rolled the sleds off onto the snow. It was a little bit overcast this day and we decided we would actually ride the Moose Loop in a counterclockwise direction. Now there are all kinds of choices. We just really like the Moose Loop. It's a couple hundred kilometers. And it's something like we could do in one day. And you can see the snow just hangs on the trees in Sudbury. There was lots and lots of snow. And it wasn't long before my son-in-law and I were out riding the White Ribbon. And you can see just how nice the trails are. One thing we like about Sudbury is it's got a great mix of these really fantastic lake crossings 
and then these tight trails that meander in and out of the woodlots. And as you get further north on some of these loops, like the Moose Loop, the sense of remoteness is fantastic. We maybe, you know, passed one, maybe two groups of sleds in about 150 kilometers in this trail here. It's just a, a sense of peacefulness. The, the scenery is absolutely spectacular. And the trail grooming is just par excellence. It's so smooth and flat most of the time because the Sudbury uh, Trail Plan does a great job at grooming. So why don't we take a little bit of a look at some of the trails here. One thing I really like about Sudbury is they do keep all of their warming shacks and their outhouses in really good shape. And they have these rest areas all over the place. This one's at Trail 56 where it meets the D111I or C111D. Uh oh, that one's closed. But you can kind of see they're well marked. They've got nice little fire pits here. So if you want to come out here at night, you can do so. And the sheds are always well stocked with fuel and even can crushers for your pop cans. It's kind of a nice place. And I mean, come on, take a look around. It is absolutely beautiful out here in Sudbury, Ontario. I'd encourage everybody to come out here and give it a try. Now after a few hundred K of riding, you do get hungry, and we did decide to stop in here at our favorite place to eat along the Moose Loop, which is Windy Lake Lodge. This is just off the trail on a side trail, and this place is fantastic for if you want to stay here, or in our case, get a bit of fuel for the sleds, and a little bit of fuel for us. They do offer premium fuel. We didn't need a lot because we ride four strokes, but the cost was very competitive and there's lots of places to park your sled. Now, when you do go in and fuel up yourself, you really should have their famous waffle fries. These things are delicious. I get them with hot sauce and I don't often eat meat, but I tell you, if you're gonna break your diet, their double patty Windy Leg Burger is amazing. And all along the trails, there's places to stop. It's all outlined on the online map, places to eat, get fuel, it's all right there at your hands to find it where you want to go. So after we fueled up, we went out to burn a bit of fuel in both the sleds and ourselves and burn some calories off here. Sudbury, I can't tell you how nice it is to ride around here and, and it's just amazing. With our bellies full and the trails as smooth as they are, the 65 kilometers back to our hotel went by very, very fast. And this was pretty much the same each day. Smooth trails, great food, lots of fuel and friendly people make riding in the Sudbury area a key destination for myself and my family. We just love it here. And I encourage you, if you like snowmobiling and you've never tried Sudbury, by all means, book yourself a room and stay a few days. Enjoy the hospitality and the great scenery that Sudbury has to offer. Oh. Well, that's the last of it. That stuff is heavy. Holy cow. 
Well, it's really good to be home and it's nice to be back in the tanker shed here, but I'll tell you the saddest part of the snowmobile trip is when you know it's done. Now my son-in-law and I had a fantastic time uh, in Sudbury, Ontario this year and we're looking forward to next year when we get back up there to ride an epic trip again. Now hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a comment down below and tell me if you've ridden in Sudbury, what your thoughts are and maybe tell me where you think I need to ride next in Ontario here. That would be fantastic. So until next time, I hope that you do get out and you get to do a bit of riding yourself. It's been a fantastic year this year and I really do hope that you get to enjoy the trails in and around Ontario. But until then, I'm Dino and I hope to see you soon here on Dino's Tinker Shed. I'm gonna get ready and get all this stuff put back away where it needs to go and I'll, I'll see you soon. Bye now.